Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio, and welcome to another In Motion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about the media settings within the WordPress Administrator Dashboard. So in order to set the media settings for WordPress, you need to actually log in to the WordPress Dashboard. And then once you're in the Dashboard, like I, we are here, you would go down to Settings. Under Settings, you're going to see Media. Here you'll see that they are all for the image sizes that are used within WordPress. Basically, these are the max dimensions for each of these types of images. So here you have a thumbnail size, and that thumbnail size is set for 150 by 150. And there's an option underneath that says Crop Thumbnail to Exact Dimensions. Normally, thumbnails are proportional. If the Crop Thumbnail option is checked, then the dimensions that are set for the thumbnail size will be used. Otherwise, if the option is not checked, then the image will be proportional. The medium size image is max width here by default. And these are default values that you see on the screen. The max width is 300 pixels, and the max height is 300 pixels. And the large size that you see here is max width of 1024 pixels with a maximum height of 1024 pixels. Now these all apply to image sizes used within WordPress. So if you were to actually look at the uh, media library, these are the thumbnails that you see right here. And these thumbnails are all 150 by 150 as per your settings within the media settings. Why would you actually change that to something smaller? If you have a ton of images and you're trying to display them all like this on your media screen, then you'll probably want to reduce the size of the images so that you can see them all and also to save memory. If you are using thousands of images, then definitely you want to reduce the size of the thumbnail. And here you can see the medium size image and the thumbnail sized image on the attachment details. And you can tell that these are the sizes for it because you only have three sizes that are set within the media settings. You have a large, a medium, and a thumbnail. So here you can see the thumbnail size and then you can see the actual medium size of the image as well. You can see the large size of the image when you click on the image in the media library. And then to see the actual size of the image, you can click on Edit More Details, and it will show you the actual size. The final option that you'll see in the media settings is the Uploading Files option. Here it allows you to check off whether you want to organize your uploads into a month and year based folders. Once you've made changes to the sizes of the images as per your needs, and made the changes to the options here, such as the crop thumbnails or the organize option under uploading files, then click on save changes in order to save your selections. Thanks again for watching this video tutorial. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear any comments you have so that we know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.